know this is going to be difficult, Jim. I know. I've been mentoring this kid for a long time. I know. We have to do what we have to do. Hello, Matt. Thank you for coming in. Have a seat. We're having the meeting in here? I mean, I left my stuff in the copy room so we could just... No, that's in. okay. We have something else to discuss. Okay, are we having a staff meeting? Why don't you come in and sit down? Okay. Did I do something wrong? Something's come to our Is attention. Anything you want to tell us, Matt? Anything you might have forgotten in the interview. Um, Nothing outside of your church work. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what you're getting at. Matt, do you know a man named James Reed? Yes, I do. Why? Well, James came by the office the other day and we talked for a while. Now, I'm not saying what he said is true. I just want to clarify what he said. Having been in ministry for 10 years, I know that false accusations can do terrible things. If it's not true, then the buck stops here. And we will just pretend this conversation never happened. We trust you. I trust you. Now, we just want to ask you a few questions. The questions? Matt, they say you're a homosexual. We need to know if that's true so or not. So who's they? We can't say. It doesn't matter who told us. Is it true? Yes. Yes what? I am gay. Matt, you know what the Bible says about homosexuality? Leviticus 18.22, Romans 1. It's an abomination of everything that God is. Yes, I do. You know we cannot allow sinning with someone on staff. Please tell me you're not actually living the lifestyle. I mean, you're struggling with it, yes? I... Matt, I think what Bill is trying to say is that we care about you. You're so talented. You have so much life ahead of you. You're treading down a dark, dark path, leading this sinful lifestyle. I wish I could explain this to you, Matt, but I, I... We care about you. And we care about your future. But you know the word. Why did you never come to us with this? There are things we could have done, steps we could have taken to help you. Help me. Who could help me? I have, I have thought about this day for so long. I had feared it, knowing that I would lose everything that I loved, everything that I have worked so hard for. Do you know what it's like to look into a mirror and to hate yourself? To hate who you are inside your soul? Because <laughs> I have, I have been to every type of counseling there is to cure this. I have been from therapy to therapy thinking that maybe I have a disease I could take a pill for and be normal. You know what the happiest part of my life in the past 10 years has been? As some mornings, I wake up and for just a minute, I forget that I have to live with this every day. I try to find a way out, another chance of freedom. I realize.
realize. <laughs> this is who I am. The core of my being, I know that. And, and I know that I have a choice. I can hate myself. Or I can, I can accept who God created me to be. And so, and so you ask me, am I gay? Yeah. But does that change what I feel called to do? No, it doesn't. You have no idea how hard this is for us, Matt. I wish you could hear what you're saying. But we don't have a chance unless you're willing to at least try something. Maybe there's a therapy you haven't considered that could work. I don't know. Something. Look, we still love you, Matt. But I'm sorry. We have no choice. We will have to let you go. Maybe this is the only way you can realize the depth of your sin and finally become a Christian. I am a Christian. So, I mean, what are you gonna tell the, the congregation and the choir? We'll tell them the truth. Can I leave? <laughs>